What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are gonna be going over my leveling guide that I used during the pre-testing and just something that I'm bringing to you which I think is really, really cool and fun. Uh, it is a bunch of random powers, however, we are basically using two big ones which is rebounding and deflection. So uh, it's all about using Quill Volley as well as our Razor Wings. Now, I do got some gameplay that you guys are going to see in the background when I'm talking about this, but um, I just briefly wanted to go over this. This was the build that I used to level all the way through the story, all the, through, all the way through the campaign, all the way up uh, into hard mode or expert, which is great. I'm level 58, getting ready to top off and get to 60 here in just a little bit. But I wanted to go over this while I'm waiting on the... Um, hell tied to reset so let's go over my skills here and just everything that i have and then that way i'll show you guys some gameplay which is really sweet so you're coming in we're taking thunder spike into accelerated to make enemies vulnerable which i think is awesome then we come in we max out quill volley into ad advantageous quill volley so it hurls out three additional feathers dealing increased damage then we're going to take max out vigorous for even more core skill generation and then we're taking velocity for damage that have dealt in the last time, uh, five seconds and are moving you generate three vigor this is fantastic then we're going to come down we're going to max out where we're going to put one point in mirage to gain increased dodge chance during an evade and deal increased critical strike chance we're doing unrestrained power for increased damage while we're unhindered and unstoppable then we're doing swift for one for mobility cooldown we max out these three for vocal point for increased gain focus, double when this uh, bonus is active. Then we want Apex for increased damage against vulnerable enemies, double against elites. Then we're doing Disminishment. What is it? Dimin diminishment. Vulnerable enemies take a deal less damage to us. Fantastic. Max out Endurance for casting a defensive skill gives us vigor. We're only casting one, but it gives us a nice chunk. One in Perseverance for additional damage reduction. Uh, one in Fueled for life on kill. Then we take uh, counterattack. This is huge here. This is going to give us dodge chance, and then this is also going to allow us to reset our fero or reset and give us more seconds of uh, ferocity, uh, more cooldown per by seconds per stack of ferocity, uh, and then adaptable counterattack. When we dodge a controlled and pair attack with counterattack, it will reflect the crowd control to all those. So you could definitely do that. Um, we don't really need the reinforced countering attack, but adaptable is fantastic. This is also what's going to reflect our. Um, razor wings so we max this out and we do enhance to make enemies vulnerable you don't really need anything here they last 300 percent uh, longer which i guess you could do that if you really wanted to you can come in take a point out of here if you want um, or even out of ranked and then you can put this in here to make them last longer which is fine they got a 10 percent chance to regain a charge when hitting an enemy double this when they have a barrier so you could do this to make them last longer or the reset is actually kind of nice we max out or we're going to be maxing out or try to brilliance. Your ego skill damage is increased by the mo your movement speed. And then we want acceleration for even more movement speed. So if you really wanted to, you could take away vocal point because we're not casting a focus skill. So you could take the two points here and just do um, this for even more damage. And then we could end up maxing that out. So if you want, you could reduce some things like um, maybe take away this because we're not unstoppable put max this out for acceleration for movement speed so after you evade your next ego skill does increase damage then of course we got the seeker into exalted seeker this is our big um eagle that comes down which is super strong uh we're also going to be taking rushing claw this is just going to give us our like our mobility skill besides how fast we actually evade we're resetting our evade so fast that we do use this for the additional damage but we can evade and get around the map pretty quick so we do enhanced uh, to take increased damage from rushing and then poised uh, when it hits an elite we gain 10 percent dodge chance for three seconds then we max out potent for enemies with jag skills increases damage they take from us and then furnace uh jaguar skills deal increased critical strike damage per stack of ferocity we're not really doing anything besides the counter attack and rushing claw but still it's a very good skill our key passive is going to be adaptive stances. It's the best one. Whenever we cast an eagle skill, we gain movement speed. When we cast our jaguar skill, we get attack speed. Very, very strong, okay? Casting a skill of a different base spirit, swaps to the new bonus, increases core stats by 50% for five seconds. Very, very strong, okay? So that's what we're going to take. Again, the main powers that you want are deflection. Uh, so while active, counterattack reflects incoming razor wings and uh, deals additional damage. And then we want rebounding. We, ideally, you want this on your two hand, but as you're leveling up, 
you're not going to be putting that there. So just put it on a ring. It's fine. You can swap these two if you want. Um, so that way your quill volleys do more damage. But these are the main two powers that you're actually going to need. As far as your spear hall, we're taking eagle first. And then we take jaguar second for the maximum ferocity. And we gain a stack whenever you kill an enemy or damage a boss. Super important. Uh, casting an eagle skill against grants four seconds of storm feathers. Movement speed bonus when you evade. Fling up to eight storm feathers. This is so strong. Uh, it does so much damage. It's great. Um, so that's that guys in our mercenaries, of course, we're taking rapport and then we take Alden, but I don't think you really need to, you can pick pretty much anything you want. The mercenaries are just fantastic. Uh, I like that you can quick, fast travel to the den as well. So yeah, guys, I wanted to bring this build. So we're going to showcase it just a little bit, um, in the new hell tide that's down here. So let's go down here. We do got to finish our, we're still finishing the campaign. So you guys will see part of this in the video, but we are blasting and doing that. And I think it's great. Um, this build uh has just carried me through the entire story so we will be switching to poison at some point but uh yeah so let's showcase the bill just real quick so you're gonna see us just you're gonna see all the the quills just reset and everything just bounces off i mean it's just so good um it's such a good like quill what is it what is it called again quill volley is so good for AOE guys. You just kind of burn through it. And you see how fast we reset our evade. Like we got two stacks there and we just like go, we reset it every single time we just attack. I mean, it's so easy. Dash around. Then we call our big bird. And you just destroy everything. Now we're on hard because we're doing the campaign. This build you can definitely do on expert if you want. It's a little bit tougher, but you definitely can do it. So I just wanted to showcase this leveling build really quickly because I think it's awesome. Um, and Eagle was definitely my favorite even when I got to early test it back in July, which was very cool. Shout out to Blizzard. So yeah, this is, this is great, man. So I wanted to bring this video to you guys um, early so that way you guys can kind of get a glimpse of what I'm using. Um, I'll be making some more builds and stuff that I'll showcase uh, here, but in the meantime, this is just a leveling build. It's going to be a while before we can do some endgame builds, like real endgame builds. I think we'll have a lot of entry-level endgame builds on the channel by getting to 60 and all that stuff. Um, and once we get enough Paragon points to uh, do all five Paragon boards, because we are going to have to unlock and explore all of Nahantu and do all of the... Uh, renown there to get the extra points so but we will we will have a lot of entry level builds guys to 60 to carry you to the into the end game and into torment one but for leveling this is a very very strong one i think poison is probably still going to be stronger um but quill volley is just absolutely fantastic i mean it's just amazing so yeah guys like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think um, don't forget to subscribe, guys, and as always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.